Hey there, folks. Here's a quick update on what I've done here today. So what I did was I've installed my uh, distributor manifold. That's how, what the, I call it an oil pump housing. But it's a distributor manifold. I've installed that. I've installed my new seal, my oil pump, my pickup tube, and I've got the oil pan on. And uh, you don't want to forget anything inside here. Like You do not want to forget a cotter pin or... Uh, you don't want to forget to hook up your test port tube, that little brass uh, copper tube there. You want to make sure that's hooked up and tight. You want to make sure everything that's in here is supposed to be in here or anything that's uh, that you've forgotten just in case. You don't want to forget a um, cotter pin. You don't want to forget any of that stuff. On this one, I had to hook up the linkages. The previous owner had taking the linkages apart so I had to hook all this back up <clears throat> and of course this here right here this lever the 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 actual uh, rod that goes through there the shaft that goes through there was damaged and someone had repaired it with the brazing so rather than trusting it I put a new shaft from another machine in excellent condition and new needle roller bearings in there too and then uh, hooked up all my pins and hopefully everything will just work out perfectly so what I'm going to show you now we've got to install the upper and lower regulator valves now this is there's nothing really special here uh, we have the lower and then we have the upper over here and each one just consists of a plunger with a little rod in it, okay? And then you've got your spring. And then there you go. And then the cap just goes over top of it. And you'll use these actually to test. So basically what you're going to do, uh, well, you'll use it in conjunction with your test port, which is on top of the tranny. So what you do is if you want to increase your pressure, you can actually drop a washer in there. It acts on the spring, tightens the spring up, and you can increase your pressure. And that's what it's for. So you can also check these. If you're having a problem, <clears throat> you can also check these and make sure they're not dirty, make sure they're nice and free. I've seen them stuck, but usually when they're stuck, it's because of a long, long time of not being used. So we're going to install those. This is our lower. And we just bring over here and we install it right in here like this. Now I've uh, given these a coating of oil. So there really shouldn't be any issues with this whatsoever. So we just make sure that our spring and then we screw it in. Good practice to put on new O-rings. That's one. Like I said, it's they've got to be clean. If you see any damage on them, if it can be fixed, fix it. If not, replace it. These parts too, they might actually be readily available. Right from Massey Ferguson or try to find used parts. I'm sure there's plenty of people with these parts laying around. Yeah, the springs are pretty tight. Once you get them started, though, that's it. So now, after having done this, I'm just going to give everything a quick check over. I have to address a couple of issues. One of the issues, of course, was a shaft that goes through for your forward and reverse. Uh, so I've addressed that. Then I have to address the tack cable. The tack cable is damaged, so I have to replace it. But we'll get all that done, and then we'll start actually putting it back together. All right, that's all for now. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye now.